Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to do a real quick video uh, responding to some of the things I'm seeing uh, Eddie say. <sighs> After Triple G's uh, apparent, according to everybody, seemingly, uh, gift against uh, Deryachinko. All right. Uh, now, you all know that uh, I like Eddie. I'm an Eddie guy, matchroom guy, the zone guy. Um, but a lot of you also know that uh, nobody is above criticism here on this channel. And uh, it's time to uh, lay some criticism off of Eddie. All right, uh, Eddie is trying to save face. Uh, you know, trying to... Uh, Sprinkle some sugar on some shit by saying that, uh, first off, in a video by AB Boxing News, uh, he goes on the record saying that Triple G wasn't motivated for this fight. You know, he wasn't overly motivated for Sergey Deryachenko. You know, uh, if that's true, if that's true, Triple G needs to retire. If he's not motivated to fight for two world titles, if he's not motivated by the, what, uh, I think 15 million he made for this fight, uh, you know, if he's not motivated against one of the top middleweights in the world, then he needs to go. You know, um, and hell, Eddie shouldn't even be doing business with the guy if he's not motivated to fight. In a fight like this, hell, I was motivated to to watch. You know, I was uh, I was excited to watch. If the guy's not motivated, don't charge for tickets. Uh, don't show this fight on the zone. As I left a comment on that video, and said that. You know, uh, as boxing fans, we don't want to waste our time on any boxer who is not motivated, who doesn't want to give a hundred percent. So, that was a, a terrible and a bad comment by Eddie. Uh, especially when seemingly everybody is saying that, uh, that Derek Chico got robbed, alright? And that uh, Golovkin got a gift. You know? I'm watching guys who are Triple G fans and supporters. I'm watching these kind of guys uh, coming on and saying that uh, Triple G lost. You know, these guys felt that Triple G beat Canelo twice, and they coming on saying that Triple G lost tonight. So, these comments are not helping. And then I get to the IFL interview, and which there's some other interviews which I have not seen yet. Kind of don't even want to see them. But the headline for the IFL interview was Golovkin was ill, is what Eddie is saying now. So now he, he wasn't motivated. And now he's trying to say that he was sick all week. Okay, well, why why he didn't say this uh, during the week? You know, why, why is this coming out now all of a sudden? Is, is the excuse as to why he didn't look so good. You know, he was motivated and he was ill. Doesn't sound good, man. I'm just trying to cover for Golovkin. Um, this this old guy who is not at his best anymore. And he'll, even when he was at his best, I didn't think he was that good. So, you know, I just want to come on and uh and respond. And let me t uh, touch on this real quick too. I'm I'm hearing uh I think Eddie said this. And I think I heard somebody else say like, oh, you know, uh, Canelo have to see in this fight. Maybe he'll maybe he'll be eager to fight uh Triple G again. You know, maybe he'll want to fight Triple G. Man, Canelo is not afraid of Triple G. Canelo is bored with Triple G. Bored. All right, Canelo, like I feel, Canelo feels that he beat Triple G twice. All right, beat the guy twice, went through two training camps, went through all the media circuits and, and two fights, 24 rounds with the guy. He feels he beat the guy twice. I feel he beat the guy twice. And, uh, you know, why um, Why should Canelo, if, if, he, if he beat the guy twice, why should he feel motivated to want to fight the guy a third time? You know, he's he's taking on bigger challenges in, in uh, Kovalev. You know, two-way classes higher, a light heavyweight. You know, a Hall of Fame light heavyweight at that. So, 
no, uh, I'm not. I'm not buying this. Uh, oh well, you know now, after seeing a poor performance, uh, Canelo wants to fight the guy. That's not. That's not uh, who Canelo is. He ain't built like that. You know, he he's not. You know, <clears throat> wanting to see. Uh, you know, a guy put on a poor performance, then want to pick him and fight him over that. You know, he wants to fight the best guys. You know, he he wants he wants competition. You know, this guy feels he's the best in the world, and uh, you know he wants to build a, a great legacy and resume. You know, he don't want uh, easy picking fights. That, that, that's not that's not him. You know, he didn't become great, become arguably number one pound for pound by having such a a loser attitude. All right. You know, so I just want to comment on that that people saying this uh, about Canelo, uh, but Eddie, you know, as my guy, man, I love him, but uh, you know, nobody trying to hear this shit, man. In a, in a what a lot of people are saying is a robbery, you know, and and I'm, you know, I'm not calling it that yet. I'm gonna watch it and score it and then come on and and say what I saw, but um. You know, no nobody's gonna want to hear and accept this shit about Golovkin being sick and and what not motivated to fight uh, Sergey Derevchenko. You know, if, if he really wasn't motivated to fight Derevchenko, then that's really bad on him. You know, and, and I, I highly uh, doubt that. You know that that he, uh, you know what Eddie's saying. Uh, you know, like I said, if that's the case, the guy needs to get out of the sport, man. Oh, and let me say this too, while while that's on my mind. Um, it, it, don't be surprised, guys, if uh, Jonathan Banks gets sacked and uh, Triple G goes with his head down, taking baby steps back to Abel Sanchez. Don't be surprised, you know, uh, because of the criticism going to come out and and um, all these things, man. And, and he know that he was in a tough fight. It wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't surprise me at all if uh, if, if if it falls on Jonathan Banks. And I saw an interview, um, I hadn't seen it, but I saw the headline where Jonathan Banks is saying that it was his fault that Triple G looked the way he looked. Well, good job uh, burying yourself and, and putting yourself out of a job. All right, if, if you're going on record saying these things, other people will put it on your shoulders and you'll be the one to get the blame for this shit. So, you know, I, I, I think that's it, guys. I just wanted to uh, quickly respond to uh, what Eddie was saying, and um, you know, I I, I disagree. I disagree. Um, not, nobody wants to hear it, man. So that's it, guys. Let me know what you think, and I'll check in soon. Thanks for watching.